Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to be performing a little test with my uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Um, I'm going to be washing a load of clothes with my portable washer um, and just to see how much power it uses. Um, so we know this thing has a about a 4,000 watt hour or 4 kilowatt hour battery and I'm starting with 100% charge so I'm going to be curious to see exactly how much it uh, brings the battery down and of course I'm going to be observing how much wattage it outputs uh, throughout the various cycles just because I'll be pretty curious to to, to see how much power it uses. So um, I've got a medium load of clothes there that I'm going to wash and afterward um, I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight but I'm going to also test my portable dryer <laughs> to see how much power it uses to dry a load of clothes. Um, so quick note, uh, this isn't a completely off grid test because, um, my well, um, will still be using grid power, but, um, I'll do a separate test with the well once I'm able to find a way to power it separately. And then also for this test, I'm going to be shutting off the, um, hot water heater just to, I'm pretty sure my hot water heater will have enough hot water to take care of this load, but um, just to kind of more closely simul simulate being completely without power. So let's go ahead and start the test. I'll turn on the 120 volt inverter. See, I got the power plugged in. All right, so you can see how when it fills, it kind of like spins temporarily. Like you can see like it uses like no power when it's doing, when it stops, but it briefly shoots up to like 500 watts when it first spins. Well, let's see, that was about 200 there. So yeah, that's cool. All right, so it's gone into its main wash cycle now, and it's maxing out at a, about almost 300 watts, close to 300 watts. All right, so at the end of the first wash cycle, it's draining the water out now. It's using a constant 28 watts to run that little pump to drain the water out. And it's soon gonna be starting the spin cycle here in a moment. Not, actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So you know with the spin cycle it kind of you know spins for a bit, slows down and then starts up again so it's probably going to start a faster spin here in a moment. Okay, we saw over 400 watts there for a moment. The motor steadied to about 250 something. Okay, just interesting to know how much power it uses when it's spinning and stuff. So, I don't know, that's probably the most power this thing's gonna suck is the spin cycle and the main uh, motor or the main wash motor. Okay, so it's doing a spray rinse right now. And I noticed occasionally, and there we go, we see it. When it spun up a bit, it got all the way up to 700 watts, but only briefly, like just for that brief moment. And of course we're at 96%, <laughs> good to know. I um, closed it, because uh, during the spray rinse, water can, spray on out all over the place. So yeah, I modified the lid switch so that I can use this while it's open. Cause normally while it's spinning, <laughs> you can't open it. I have no kids or anyone that can, you know, come around and harm themselves. So that's why I have it like that. 
But anyway, all right, so we're starting the final rinse cycle. Um, I kind of gave it an additional rinse uh, just to make sure all the soap got washed out. But we're at 95%, so it's not bad. Still not really drawing all that much power. So this is really good. Um, it's still a you know decent chunk of the battery, but it's nice to know exactly how much I can I'll be using from this battery if I ever do need to wash clothes off grid or you know without grid power. All right, so that is about it. It hit the brakes. <whistles> and it's letting me know it's done. All right. So that used exactly, well, maybe not exactly, but about 5% of the uh, EcoFlow uh, Delta Pro 3 battery. So that's cool. So um, obviously I need to dry these clothes now. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hook up the dryer and um, it's gonna be not so fun just waiting on this thing cause it's probably gonna take like an hour and a half, but I'm gonna hook the dryer up next and see how much it uses. Um, so you'll notice that this particular dryer is a so-called portable dryer and it's designed to connect to a regular 120 volt outlet. I just have this uh, big adapter here that lets me make use of this uh, dryer circuit. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next and see how much power this thing uses to uh, dry my clothes. Alrighty, so I got the clothes loaded up into the portable dryer and the dryer hooked up to the Delta Pro 3 and um, had to use um, power strip there to get a bit of extra length. So all I need to do, put one of these in here. Um, so this machine runs for about two and a half hours. I don't know if it actually takes the full two and a half hours to dry. Um, I need to test that out, but it's, you know, it's one of those things you just kind of set it and forget it. But um, let's see, I'm curious to see how much wattage it pulls. Turn this on. Oh, buddy. That is quite a lot of power. <laughs> we see it already went down to 94. Um, let's see, it's estimating about about two and a half hours. So the dryer is probably gonna suck this thing all the way down. Let's see how fast it goes to 93%. The wattage has come down a little bit. So it just had a use a lot of power at the start, I guess. But we're still at 1186 watts, almost 1200 watts. Still at 94%. Yeah, it's estimating possible three hours. So I'm sure it can finish drying the load, but the battery is definitely gonna be super low when it's done. This, while we're waiting for the percent to go down, uh, this machine is really, really cool. I like the little fan animation to let you know that the fan is running, even though you can kind of hear it, but it is sort of quiet to some people. So um, if you were using the remote screen, it's a cool way to know that the fan is running if you were curious. All right, there we go, 93%. So that's interesting to see how fast it sucks the percent out. So anyway, I'm just going to let this thing run and uh, dry my clothes and I'll check back in once it's done. All right, so checking in at about 50% battery, it's estimating about an hour, over an hour and a half uh, runtime on the uh, 
you know, with having the dryer pulling from it. Um, we're still pulling over a thousand watts. And um, I'm kind of actually just curious at this point uh, how dry are the clothes at this point? Because I've usually I just kind of set it and forget it. And uh, yeah, they're still not, they're getting there. But uh, yeah, they're still not completely dry. They still need more time. Uh, but uh, anyway, obviously this is not very efficient. Uh, in a real power outage, I would probably, you know, if I really needed to dry clothes, I would probably just hang them up <laughs> instead of sucking battery out of my power pack. But um, I'll continue on with this experiment for the sake of just knowing. <laughs> All right, so we got down to 21%. Uh, we're now consuming uh, just about 173 watts and it looks like there's only um, a few minutes left on the drying so I'm actually gonna stop it here and check to see oh yeah I think these are pretty dry yeah totally dry okay so I think that concludes the experiment <laughs> so um again obviously not very efficient trying to dry your clothes off of a battery <laughs> again in a real power outage i'll probably actually just hang my clothes up if i must do laundry during a power outage but this was a neat experience experiment learning just how inefficient um <laughs> it is to use a dryer <laughs> to um dry clothes um, so that that probably used just over two kilowatt hours, maybe three kilowatt hours. I need to do better math than that. Um, a 240 volt dryer um, would use close to, uh, well, you know, depending on various factors, close to five kilowatt hours. Um, well, could use up to five kilowatt hours for a single load, so... Yeah, it's amazing how much power we use just to dry our clothes. But anyway, thanks for watching.